right here. I usually try to get it started like that. And I've been running it through twice like that. And it's pretty good. Hi everybody, it's that time of year. Every year I put a hundred ears of corn away in the um in the freezer so I can eat it all year long. It's awesome. Sweet corn. Mm, I love it. Stay tuned, we're gonna try something a little different this year. Here we go. Alright, I got a hundred ears of corn in these two bags right here. And one of the things you have to do is of course you gotta shuck it and you got to blanch it. Well, every year I try I've tried a few different things. I did a microwave, burnt my microwave up actually trying that one year. Um, boil it, you know, regular shuck it, boil it. That works, but it's a long a tedious process. I'm gonna try something a little different this year. I got my grill heated up right here. I got it actually up to about five to six hundred degrees. And what I'm gonna do to blanch is I'm gonna stick the whole ear of corn on there and let it run for about 10 minutes because it takes a little bit of time for that heat to reach in there and kill the enzymes. The reason why you want to blanch it uh, is to kill the enzymes which actually uh, facilitate the uh, process of it going bad. So what you want to do is kill the enzymes, then throw it in cold water real quick and uh, stop the cooking process and then, then what we're going to do is we're going to shuck it and get the kernels off and then freeze it. But what we're going to try to do first is I tried a couple of years and seen it work pretty good. Uh, what happens too, when you, once you heat it up like that, it actually shucks much easier with it hot and it's moist, it comes right off. Sometimes when I do the microwave, you actually squeeze on in and oh, everything comes right off. Don't think that's going to work that much this time on this one, but I think it's going to work a lot better and it'll come right off easy. You won't have all the little hairs all over. It's easy. So let's get started. I'm going to put like um, probably 20 at a time on the grill and heat it for 10 minutes and throw it in the cold water, ice water, and see how it does. Let's do, give it a shot. Here we go. All right, so 10, I'm going to try to do 15 at a time. You have to line it with 10 for you because if you don't, the fire will actually come up and start burning these tassels off. So uh, we're going to go ahead and try 15. That way we don't have to do it quite as many times. Seven times we'll be done. Uh, see how it does. All right, let's shut it up and give it about um, 10 minutes to see how we do. All right, the temperature dropped down because I had it open for a little bit, but I think it's going to work. All right, here we go. All right, it's been 10 minutes. And the temperatures come back up right around 500 degrees. I'm gonna try using these hot hands gloves, and I'll put a link down Amazon down below. But well, hopefully, what these will let me do is hold it while it's hot, cut the end off, and get the um, silk off right now while it's hot. Don't know. Let's try. It. Here we go. I'm right, gonna try one right now. I'm sure it's hot though. You can tell that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the end off right here, like that. And look at that. When you microwave, you just pull it off like that and it comes right off. And it's looking like it's working really good. Not bad. I can deal with that. That's not bad. It's certainly coming off easier than it did with the uh, other. And I don't mind a little bit of corn that's got a little darkness on it. That's some good roasted corn. I like it. Let's try another one. Let's give it another one a shot here. Uh, that was 10 minutes. We might could go 8 minutes. But, uh... Let's see how it works here. It's so much mess doing this. If you can find a better way to do it, I think you need to do it. The hot hands are working good. I can handle this hot pretty easy. And it looks like it is coming off easier than it would because it's kind of moist and wet and coming off a little bit easier than it would. So put in that ice cold water there. All right, let's try a couple more. Here we go. Let's try a couple more real quick. All right, you cut what you do is you cut off where it grows out right there. Cut the end off right there. Sometimes I think you can just squeeze it right here. The first one I did just squeeze right out. Like this one's not, but it's still coming off really, really easy. Much easier than it would. It's wet, so I think that's helping. Try one more, and we'll see if we can't go ahead. Here we go. Okay, let's try this method here real quick. You can see it when I squeeze it right here, it's starting to separate up there already. Just pull it off. And sometimes a lot of it will come off doing that. Not bad. I can deal with that. That's not bad. All right. I tell you what we can do. We'll go ahead and knock the rest of this out right here. If we can do 15 years at a time, that's what, seven seven trips, we'll have it all done. It looks like it is uh, definitely coming off pretty easy right there. So we'll keep doing it, and I'll let you know how it turns out in the end. All right, stay tuned. All right, we just put a new batch on right here. I'll uh, make one more change. Why says she want the roasted corn? And uh, so no darkness on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it halfway through. Every five minutes we'll rotate it. 
and it shouldn't keep should keep that from happening and when I grill corn I love it like that but since we're gonna be freezing it we'll go ahead and rotate it halfway through to keep it from getting that on it and uh see how it does all right stay tuned we're gonna try another batch right here here we go all right there's a work in progress um I think I, I need to cut it down just a little bit I got about 400 degrees now and we're gonna do about eight minutes and flipping it every four now I think that's gonna get it good and blanched good to kill the enzymes in it and get it ready to get the uh, corn off the cob so let's let's try that for the next batch to see how it does work in progress here all right let's do it all right i put a giant block of ice in there and it is keeping it cool in here that water's probably about 50 some degrees so it's good good and cold look at that that thing's like a giant ice cube in this water keeping the corn nice and cool stopping the cooking process right off the bat until we get this stuff uh shucked oh i mean uh corn off the cob and uh bagged up and ready to go here in just a short while here so stay tuned we're gonna we're gonna wash it one more time in the house before we take the corn off too all right here we go all right looks like uh 400 degrees and flipping in four minutes cooking for a total of eight minutes is the ticket seems like it's gonna go it's time to flip it right now all right let's roll it over halfway get everything rolled over halfway these gloves really work in here in this grill i don't feel anything nice and I should have covered a little better on the tin foil. Make sure you cover the grill totally with tin foil because the, the uh, flames will come up and cause this stuff here to burn. Should have covered a little bit better, but it looks like it's working really good. I think this is the key to success right here. I like it. All right, one more minute and we'll be ready to take it off and do it. Here we go. Stay tuned. Here we go. And it looks like we are done. The last batch we're saving 15 out to eat tonight and tomorrow night. That stuff is so good fresh. we got to save some for, for eating fresh too. So that's going to wrap that up. So let's get everything cleaned up here. Get the corn inside and get it ready to take the co corn off the cob. I might have a little secret process. I'm going to try something a little different. We'll see how it works. So if not, we'll use the standard method. Stay tuned. All right, I came up with a brand new method of getting the corn off the cob. Check this out. I'm using my potato uh, maker here this is one of the things you saw me use last year what I do I get it started on it right here like this then take this and push it right through easy man it's nice it comes right through just as quick and easy and you actually put it right through if you need to do it again you can actually do it this one's pretty clean that was pretty clean right there but check it out what do you think I think that came out pretty good let's try another one all right I usually kind of get just get started right here boy it's much easier doing it than uh than trying to do it by hand, but you can actually run it through twice, but I tell you, using that knife can be a pain sometimes, but anyway, takes it off pretty good, I like it, alright, let's try one more here, and we're going to keep getting up here, alright, got a little, missed a little bit on that one, so we can take and run it right back through again, get started on that end right here, what do you think, well, we might try a few with this thing right here. See how it does. I think it's working pretty good though. It's dumping it right in the pan down here. Look how much we got in here. Just, just doing a couple. Look how much corn came off right there. And that right there. Perfect. I like it. The new Gig Master corn remover right here. Stay tuned. Look at it in your local stores. <laughs> All right, let's get going here. Let's get this 100 years. Well, 80 years. Then we'll eat, eat 20 of them. So let's get this other 80 years shucked off. And we'll get it ready to bag it. I'll show you a little special process I use for the bagging too. All right, stay tuned. All right, the new process is working great. We only got about 20 more years to go. I'm going to show you the process I go through. Pop it right in half. Very easy. Get it started here. Push it right on through. And what I usually do is run it through twice now. I kind of learn to run it through because it's a little bit closer in here. But I got to stay strapped in. So look at that. It's clean. It's pretty clean. Sometimes if you want to, you can actually run it through three times if you want to. But anyway, it's working great. Let's try this one right here. I usually try to get it started like that. And I've been running it through twice like that. And it's pretty good. It takes it right on off. Well, this is a little bit bigger one, so this one should run through really good here. And we'll do it a second time right here. Yep, and maybe a third. Man, look at that. Nice. I like it. It's popping the kernels off, right off, too, man. Go 
go again. I like it. Just pop it. Put it in there. Go. Second way. Go. And it is done. Look at that. I like it. I think it's going to work good. We need to invent one. Who wants to invent one with me? We'll patent it. I like it. You see how fast I can go through corn though? You can shuck it really fast. I mean, take the curls off. We already shucked it. Alright, let's see. This one's a little bit bigger, so I get it started like that. I'm moving out. Hold on. My thing moves on me sometimes a little bit, but it really takes it off good. It's a little bit taller than though, like I say, just do it twice and you get it all right on off. All right, how many of you are going through here just in just a couple of seconds here? Y'all see me doing it. And we have gone through. I mean, look at that. That is clean. Oh, my God. I think we got a little invention here. I'm serious. A little bit of engineering. Get it straight. And I think we could uh, market it. All right. Wow, it's amazing. All right, let's go ahead and finish up, and uh, we'll see you on the back side. Stay tuned. And the corn is off the cob. Let's check out what we got here. Look at that. We got us a nice container full of sweet corn that's going to be going in the freezer. All right, I'm going to show you how I actually um, bag it up and seal it without a sealer meal thing. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you that right now. All right, now I'm going to show you my secret sealing process for the corn. Come on over here and check it out. First thing we're going to do is weigh it, weigh it out. I put it up in the bag here. And put, I'm going to use 15 ounces here because that's usually what me and my wife would eat. So that's, as you see right there, 15 out, 15.2 ounces. But what we're going to do here, and you see the, the, the juice from the corn in it, we're going to seal it up all the way up except for one end of it right here. And then we're going to push it all the air out. Okay, make sure it's a little bit open on the end here. Make it all the way, sealed it all the way here. It's a little bit open right there. And we're going to push all the air out like that until it's all out except this one little end. And what we're going to do is we're going to slip it under water. Look close here. What happens when you put it under water, the water pressure pushes all the air out that it can and literally just makes it seal it air tight. You just seal it right before it goes under. You seal it up and it's like a sealed bag right there. This if you had a, a sealer meal, it would be the same thing right there. It is sealed, not a bit of air in it right there. That's what we're going to do right there. All right, we're going to uh, finish all up, put it in the freezer, and we're going to be eating good through the whole winter. I appreciate everybody coming along on this little adventure. I hope you all uh, like my little invention. Now, it's not perfected yet, but I think there's a way we could do that and make it good. It did really good on this corn. Clean, uh, we end up about 75 years uh, cleaning because we end up eating some of it. But uh, anyway, I think it's a good process. Maybe next year we'll do a little something different. All right, thanks for coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. You never know what we're going to do next. Stay tuned.